Can you still do it? Okay, hello everyone and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. And if you haven't guessed it, I'm Joanne. Okay, welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. Um, I'd like to thank my recent subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And if you're watching this channel, this video for the first time, do take the time to subscribe. I would really appreciate it, okay? I need 1,000 subscribers. That's a lot because I only have 58, 57. 56, 57, oh Lord, 56, 57, I just seen it, when I went to sleep, I can't even remember, 57, 58, one of them, subscribers, and I'm thankful for those, I'm thankful, so I thank y'all for subscribing, I, um, leaning against my cabinet, I, um, I thank you, so to the recent subscriber, that just made me 58, I think 57 or 58, I thank you for subscribing to my channel. And so, if you're watching this channel and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe, okay? Because there's be some pretty good recipes on here that I'm pretty sure you will like, okay? I have a lot of different recipes. And there's something on there that's bound to catch your eye. There's something on there that you're bound to like. So, go ahead. Take the time to subscribe. I appreciate it. So, like I was saying, I need a thousand subscribers. So you do what you're waiting on. Go ahead on and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen, okay? So, with that um, said, like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a recipe, y'all will be notified, okay? So today's recipe would be my um, blackened cod with asparagus and bacon, okay? So, I'm going to show you how to do blackened cod. Now, if you don't like... Um, if you don't have all these seasonings, you can go to the store and you can get this one ingredient. And everything in it that I'm about, or mostly everything, not everything that I have here on this counter. But mostly the spices that I have here on this counter is in this Cajun Choice. And this is called Ch Cajun Choice Blackened Seasoning. So everything, mostly everything is here. Like the garlic, the onion powder, the black pepper, the salt, the paprika, the cayenne pepper, and I think the cumin. Except for the chili and the mustard. Everything else is in it. So you only really need this right here to do blacking. And it's called Cajun Shorts. Um, I bought that from Wendy's Dixie a long time ago. But anyway, if you don't, then you'll need all these spices here. So, it's going to be blackened cod. And I really was going to stand up and do it on the stove top. That's how I started out. That's how I planned it, right? But... Somewhere along the day, I got tired. Because I've been doing a lot. And that's on my vacation day. And my last vacation day is tomorrow. And from last Thursday that I got off up until this Thursday, a week, I have been running around like crazy. You know, I run and I go take care of errands and do what I got to do. And I come back home the rest of the day. But still, and now it's like I'm just getting exhausted or something. I don't know. It's just weird. So... Like tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I ain't doing jack. Okay? I'm not doing anything, so nobody don't ask me to do nothing. Don't don't come go nowhere. Don't uh-uh. My son got a car. I need some. He going to go get it. Because John ain't going nowhere. I want to rest these days. I hate when I don't rest and then I go back to work and I had a week off and I go back to work and I'm still tired. Anybody ever felt like that? I don't want to do that. But anyway. So it's gonna be so instead of me doing it on top of the stove, I'm just gonna um I'm probably gonna bake it in the oven. I want to do it in my air fryer, but I have to stand for that too. So just call me lazy today, because that's exactly what I am. I wanna go put it in the oven, um, along with the asparagus, because the asparagus and bacon is going in the oven. And or you can grill top it, but today we're gonna do it in the oven. And, um, I'm going to back and lay down. So, we're going to get started with this recipe. And I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that you're going to need for this blackened cod. And it's going to be delicious. So, y'all make sure y'all try this recipe. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And remember, my goal is to get a thousand subscribers. I'm on my way, slowly but surely, okay? So, thanks, you all. You guys, love you. So, we're going to get to the recipe. All right.
Okay, first I have over here is my um, asparagus. You're going to need some asparagus, okay? So we're going to take our asparag uh, asparagus. And let me wash them off right quick. I love asparagus. I used to didn't like these, you guys. You know why? Because this little thing just turned me off. I don't know. It just it just didn't look right. I'm just easily get turned off. But this turned me off. Okay. But now that I learned how to cook it, and I kept I kept seeing everybody like just eating it. And I said, damn, that vegetable must be good. I say, but it just don't look right. Y'all just like my black eyed peas. They was turning me off and because they was just wasn't seasoned right, I guess. Every time I had them from somebody, they just wasn't seasoned right. So I never did used to do the um dry them. So just like the asparagus, that was turning me off until I just did it. I seasoned them up and I had them. And now I love them. My kids love them. So you just line these up. Oh, let me pat these dry. This to be true. Very I just broke one, but it's all good. Okay. So basically, we're just gonna cut it to about right here, okay, or uh, uh, right up here. This is good. We get past that hard part, that little stemmy hard part right there. You don't want that. So just cut it off. Just like this. Okay, this is the part that we don't want. This is the part that we want. And they are packed. And vitamins are good for you. So we're going to wrap these mama towels up on some bacon. And this is going to be good. You know, I try not to do a lot of meals fried, you know, but I do like my fried food, but I try not to do too many of them fried. If you're going to do them fried, you know, like a couple days out of the week, you can have some fried and the rest of the days, just try to have something different, you know what I mean? Something a little bit healthy. Okay, I got a few more to go, y'all. I was gonna do these, um, do two bags. But hell, we ain't gonna eat that much asparagus. So, this hit him. This is it. love my wine on ice. I don't know why. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just getting these all chopped up, y'all. Bear with me. y'all like um garlic that's for, for anybody out there that loves garlic besides myself y'all need to see tomorrow's recipe because tomorrow Lord spell life I'm doing garlic burger overload my way Okay, you're almost down, getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay, I'm getting close, y'all. I got a few left. Okay, so I'm finished um, cutting them up and I put these asparagus in the pan here. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Now I sprayed my pan, okay? So I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on these um, asparagus. Next I'm gonna add some kosher salt. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, okay? And we just give these a little friendly toast. And remember to spray your pan, okay? I sprayed it with some Pam spray. You can use corn oil, whatever kind of pan spray you have. Oh, shoot. Okay, so next, I'm gonna push these down to the side and I'm gonna take a couple of them in my hand. Oh, let me get the bacon first. Then we're gonna take the bacon. Okay, so I'm gonna put a, a bunch in my hand, okay? And we're just gonna wrap it around the bacon. Okay, I gotta get some toothpicks. So you're gonna need some two pieces where you can try to stay in place, okay? The meat, okay? And then once it get done, you can um, unravel it, okay? So I'm gonna get another slice of bacon, just sit it in there. And I'm just grabbing a bunch. Turn them all down so the little trees or the little buzz or whatever you want to call it they're facing down and then just wrap your bacon in the middle of the asparagus ok 
Okay, there's another one. Okay. They're gonna do continue to do this. It don't matter how many you get. Well, you know, you want it, it'll be a, a nice little bunch. Just like this. Okay? And we're going to come back and we're going to, um, I'm going to straighten it up when I get through. So this is it. I'll just... Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna finish this up. Then I'll be back. I only got a few more, so. It ain't gonna be too much longer. Okay, maybe I got about two more. Okay, this is the last bunch. So I'm just gonna grab all these in here. I think it's steady. Cause I'm short. Since that's the last one, this one get two pieces of bacon.
Okay, so now you just straighten them out. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and here we have it, okay? So, I got a 350 degree oven, and you want to have your oven, let me wash my hands. You want to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Now, these are going to bake for about mm, 25 minutes. Because it don't take that long for them to get done. So, I'm going to be watching them, and I'll tell you how long it will. I ain't got no time. I need me a time, but that's what I need. So I can tell y'all how long they take because you don't want them limpy. But if they be limpy, that's all right. It's still good. Okay. So I'm going to back this up and I'm going to put these in my oven. Like I said, my pan has already been sprayed. So here we have our asparagus and bacon going in the oven. Okay, moving on with our, back, our black and cod. So I'm going to dry the water off of this. this card and I'm just gonna sit it in the paint sit it over here and let me move this bacon and I'm gonna um dry my pan out and spray it then I'm gonna turn my fish back over to the pan okay and it's a beautiful piece of fish y'all you guys you see look how nice and thick it is Dry this out. We're going to spray it. And I'm using vegetable cooking spray. Get some more spray. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so now I'm going to... I'm going to try to use another pan. I'll try to use this one. Just place them down here face down and then I'm going to season them, okay? And if you didn't know that you can put black and fish in the oven, now you do. Because this is going in the oven. Healthy, healthy, healthy. This is a healthy meal tonight. So let me wash my just rinse them. I'm just gonna rinse them off because it's gonna get back. I gotta get me some gloves. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the top of my card. Just like this. Okay, I'm going to season it with my kosher salt. Black pepper. Okay, 
Onion powder. This is the only time I use onion powder on my fish is when I'm getting ready to blacken it. Okay, my garlic powder. Okay, a little of the cayenne pepper, okay? Well, I'm going to use the, the cumin. You're going to need some cumin, okay? Chili powder. Yes. Okay, ground mustard. Okay, cayenne pepper, and I'll be using very little of this. My husband have to eat this. So I'm just going to sp sprinkle it on with my hand very little. I don't want him to be able to taste no heat or not too heat, too much heat, okay? That's that. We're going to need paprika. Okay, now this recipe calls for Italian season. I mean for um time, okay? My recipe calls for time, but I thought I had some time up here, but I don't. So I'm going to use Italian herbs, Italian seasoning, okay? So Italian seasoning has um, um, time in it. Dry time is what you're going to need, okay? Then we're going to rub this in. And we're going to need a lemon, okay? You're going to need one fresh lemon. So we just rub it in like this. Rub it into the fish. Or just pat it in. That's what you want to do. This is our blackened collard. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of lemon. I'm gonna take one lemon. Let me wash my hands. Now, if you're going to do it on top of the stove, all you need is a little olive oil and some butter. And just sear it on both sides for a couple of minutes until it's done. And that's it for two to three minutes on each side. I'm gonna take my um let me get my okay, I got my um my lemon. You're gonna need one lemon. So I'm just gonna take it and rub it. Bring out these juices. Slice it open. 
Then I'm going to take my lemon squeezer and I'm just going to rub a little bit all over here on the lemon juice. And that's it. And if you want to dress it up, Smell my asparagus, show. Okay, that's it, get you guys. So I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350. It's gonna enjoy the asparagus, and we'll be back to show you. I'll be back to show you what this um black and car looks like. All plated up. So in the meantime, in between time, y'all do what y'all gotta do. But remember to turn back to this channel and watch me plate this. Beautiful card, blackened card, and uh, asparagus with bacon. So I'll see y'all in a few. God bless. Hello, welcome back. You guys, it's done. I did exactly what I told you guys not to do. I overcooked them because I went and laid down. But they're good and they're crispy. This is my blackened card. And asparagus with bacon and my basic my bacon is real crispy so is my um asparagus but it there are there are good delicious it's delicious I'm telling you okay so just try not to overcook it takes about 20 25 minutes you just got to keep watching it because you want it firm mine is limpy but I'm gonna eat this because it's, it's good asparagus and bacon and I bake card so if you like this recipe give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe to join's kitchen we're gonna taste this take our um two picks out and just give it a nice little taste Okay, here we go. I still have some crunch to it. I love asparagus, y'all. Mm. I can eat these things up. It is good. Oh my goodness. And then wrapped it with the bacon, y'all. That just make them more, more delicious. This was a quick recipe. It was easy. It was simple. Nothing hard about it. Now y'all go and make y'all some asparagus. And black and car. If you don't like car, do it with you can do it with tilapia, salmon, any kind of filet fish you like. You can do it. Okay. Hmm. I should have cooked the two bags. Any kind of filet fish you like, you can do it, okay? Let's take a look at this card. Uh, flaky. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. It's some, oh. 
It has a little mild bite to it. My um blackened card, but it's not piping hot. If you like yours more saucier, I mean more spicier, just double the chili powder or cayenne pepper, black pepper. Just put a little extra on it. But this is good. My husband be here to eat it. It was like my black eyed peas. Not too hot. Well, a little mild kick, but just right. Y'all, I got some more asparagus in them. That other bag. And I think I'm going to cook that. Because everybody, gonna, they going to like this. And it ain't nothing but like four left. And I'm already wanting more. So, if you like this recipe, like, I don't know why I cut that. So you like this recipe, like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. Thanks you all for watching. Until the next recipe, y'all have a good rest of y'all evening. God bless. I love y'all. I'll see you for the on the next recipe. Good night.